Hi, and welcome to Conservation Kids. This is the show where you have a question about nature and we find out the answers. Today, we're at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area. Let's find out what our first question is gonna be. Hi, my name is Kabir. I wanna know where frogs live. We're here at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area to find out where frogs live. Professor Turkey Vulture, do you know where frogs live? Um, in the ponds on the lily pads? Yeah. Like in the sea or something. The pond. Wow, those kids had some great ideas. Let's go find an expert who might know the answer. Dan the Nature Man knows a lot about frogs. Let's go ask him. Where do frogs live? That is a fantastic question. And right now I happen to be standing in a frog's home. This big beautiful pond at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area is a great place to find frogs. In fact, wherever you have a water habitat, you're likely to find frogs. They need water because that's where they start their lives. Hey, now, Professor Turkey Vulture, do these look like frogs? <laughs> you're right. They, they really don't look like frogs. In fact, um, of course, this is the tadpole stage. They kind of look like fish, don't they? Yeah, they've got tail fins, and they actually breathe with gills, so they share a lot with fish. A lot of, they have a lot in common with fish. But after several weeks, or maybe a year, or a bit, uh, even a bit more, something incredible happens to them. The, the, their tail gets absorbed into their bodies, they grow legs, their breathing changes from gills to lungs, and they hop out of the water as an adult frog. So here's an adult frog. Look at the difference there, okay? That's, uh, that's, that's quite amazing. Um, and they, they actually can breathe through their skin as well at this time. So that, that's, uh, it's a pretty amazing animal. And that's why they're called amphibians. They have a life in the water. They have a life on land. This frog would probably hop out of the water to be on land. And amphibian means to live a double life. One, one life in the water and one life out here on land as an adult frog. Then, then the question, of course, is where do adult frogs live? A lot of them are right around the edge of the pond or a water body, but some of them, like this leopard frog, it's called a leopard frog because of its spots, might hop away into the meadow out this way um, and spend the summer looking for bugs out in the meadow. Of course, that's why frogs are so valuable to us. They're wonderful bug control. But then adult frogs have to be thinking about where they're going to spend the winter. Um, some frogs that stay around here would go into the pond and so would leopard frogs. They'll, they'll hop back in the fall to a pond or a lake or a river or a water body and they go down to the mud and spend the winter hibernating down on top of the mud breathing through their skin. So I guess where do, where do frogs live? In a few different places but they start out their lives in water and they always come back to water to lay their eggs. Wow! Who knew that there were frogs right here at Robert Edmondson Conservation Area here in Milton, Ontario? We learned that frogs are amphibians, which means to live a double life, both in the water and on land. Some stay in and around water, while others hop away and go to forests and meadows and fields. In the winter, they return to the water and go into the mud underneath the water and ice where it doesn't freeze. They can do this because they can breathe through their skin. Pretty neat, huh? Frogs start as small eggs. They then become tadpoles and finally mature into fully fledged frogs. Thanks to Dan the Nature Man for helping us find the answer. And now it's time for a Conservation Kids tip. Frogs need water, so let's keep their homes clean by keeping water clean. Remind grown-ups not to litter or use pesticides, which are chemicals that can find their way from the land into the water where the frogs are living. Thanks for joining us today on Conservation Kids. 